This is Tom Myers, Superintendent of Bellevue Community School District in Bellevue, Iowa, coming to you with this week's Believe in the Blue update. It's an update uh, from our board meeting on last Monday evening. So I know we had a new board come into place, same people, I guess, but uh, Allison Boniface and Mike Reed were both uh, uh, re-elected in November. It's our first meeting since after the abstract of the election happened. So um, we did choose a uh, president and vice president. The current members or prior to the meeting also uh, were voted in as the uh, current president and vice president. So uh, president will still remain as Mike Reed for the Bellevue Community School District uh, Board of Education and the vice president uh, is Janet Sieverding that way. So I'll let you know a little bit about things that way, how the process works. We're keeping the same meeting nights. It's the second Monday of the month at 630 in most cases. If there's a change that will be noticed, uh, that will be uh, noted on the uh, notes or the future agendas for the upcoming meetings. Um, consent agenda, we had some uh, open enrollments coming in. Uh, we did approve a resignation for um, assistant softball and also for middle school volleyball. So those positions will be open. Then we hired a Jackie Flickinger as an elementary associate and also a Dave Wright filled in for eighth grade girls basketball coach, but a late start to that season. Uh, but then he filled in for that. Um, in the common curriculum, what we talked about was the CAFS program. That's an after school program. Anyone in Bellevue at the elementary has probably received some information on that in the past. Uh, Mrs. Hartung Schrader uh, shared a presentation about that, talking about a variety of different things, but from bowling to fall harvest fun, reading, some activities with a ball and having a ball, uh, STEM and STEAM, environmental expo exploration, some cheerleading crafts, Lego, and then the city library, uh, martial arts. There's many more things, but those are just a few things that way. We also approved uh, uh, some early graduates, uh, graduate at the semester, Laurel Birch, uh, Adam Ginty, uh, Nick Lang, and James Carr. That is if they complete all their requirements and everything. Also, uh, approves some special education contracts for students from our district going to another district, but more so from other district coming into the Bellevue district with Andrew uh, Makokita and Dubuque. We approved modified allowable growth, which uh, based on our increasing enrollment, we're eligible for $235,000, a little more than that, and spending authority that way. Uh, based on our enrollment increase, we had about, uh, we had an increase of over 30 students in enrollment. Uh, we also approved a, a supplemental amount for dropout prevention, and that is $167,000. The district has some money with that to put together. That goes for some teacher salaries for at-risk students and some services that we uh, provide for students who are uh, potentially in danger of dropping out. Also approved funds for Marquette Catholic that way through the FACS Educational Solutions that is really support that it's federal money going to the local private school uh, in a little bit over $7,000. Also, I talked a little bit about facilities update, where we're at looking at sections for next year. We're three sections currently in grades K through three. What does that mean for grade four? Had some discussions that way. We're also waiting on some information on some upcoming testing in January, so that will help us make a decision there. Um, Right now, our kindergarten numbers look like they're going to be somewhere just on historically looking at the number we have in TK and then we have in four year old preschool. With the historically, the number looks like it's going to be somewhere between 43 and 51, which is a pretty wide range, but that's where we're at. Uh, first grade looks like it'll be 64, second grade 59, third grade 55, fourth grade next year 53, and fifth grade 42. We're talking about what do we need to do in regard to three sections for fourth grade. And that conversation is ongoing, as I said, and just looking at space. And if um, that is three sections, then what do we do for space? What's gonna be best for our kids overall? And so we're really looking at that. Also we have an assessment being done of the elementary building. It's completed that way, just making up or uh, creating the final report based on information that the company gathered that will be presented at a work session in later January as well. Let's talk about board policy updates. Those are in the comment highlights that way, but uh, just looking at different uh, policy updates from assistance animals to organization of the board of directors, closed sessions, uh, exempt meetings. These are all uh, state um, uh, rules that we have to follow that way. There's an explanation to them on the website under comment highlights. You'll see that there and just go to that, that will have it sent on uh, the district website. And then under my page, you'll see that. Employee complaints and student complaints and grievances. 
Then I also shared the comment reading and reflection. And on that, it was, a, it was titled, A New Poll Shows How Pandemic Stress, stress excuse me, a new poll shows how pandemic stress is weighing heavily on Gen Z. Ultimately, what the article talked about was the impact of COVID and isolation on people as a whole, but especially that Generation Z and that isolation time, or that time that they spent on technology, whatever the case may be. It's worth reading. Uh, there's some interesting information in there. I'll talk about the COVID reports. If we're talking about that, we did talk about the COVID report from uh, December 13th, the positivity rate in Jackson County was 21%. Uh, hospitalizations had also went up from the week before. Also has something from the week before that as well. Talk about legislative update, looking at the aspect of where um, where is money going in the next legislative session? How much money uh, can education expect that way? And how much is needed? Uh, just for a variety of different things with teachers and the learning gaps that are there with students. So I have some of those legislative priorities listed there. Also, we talked about cost savings, how we try to save money in any way we can in a variety of different ways uh, while, while putting money towards our students and their education as the most vital thing. And how can we do that effectively, efficiently, and with a, uh, with a fiscal check and balance, checks and balances there? So about whole grade sharing, we will have a meeting in January, a public hearing on extending the whole grade sharing with the Andrew Community School District from the current 9th through 12th grades to seventh and eighth included in that well. So the whole mission would be for grades seven through 12. And that was about all the meeting. I encourage all of you, we do have a home basketball game on Tuesday night. That is against Iowa City Regina here at Bellevue. And then we are off until January 4th for students. They, so they return on January 4th. Uh, teachers return on January 3rd. Wish everyone a happy holiday season. Uh, take care of yourself, get a break in there if you can, whatever it may be, you know, depending on what you do. Uh, but I uh, hope everyone gets a chance for some time away from their position and spend time with family, the most important thing out there. So have a great one, everyone.